The high ground to the west was all the way at Airline and Causeway Boulevard. The on-ramp became a boat ramp. This is rare HD footage I shot in 2005. Many things have changed. This newborn rescued from Charity Hospital is now 16 years old. And though the same signs of a hurricane are there as before, Ida left the city high and dry. Of course, the big difference is in 2005, the levees broke, flooding from the Lower Ninth Ward to Lakeview. This is the intersection of Leslie and Bel Air today, where there are new homes. The pumps didn't work, and the water got within six inches of their doorsteps, but not completely underwater, like 16 years ago. People rescued by boat walked up Causeway Boulevard to I-10, only to suffer days longer before the buses arrived. These are the haunting images of Katrina. But after this storm, hundreds are not waiting for help on I-10. They're looking for gas and waiting for the power to come back on. The thousands of people waiting at the convention center for a rescue that would take five days. Finally, on September 3rd, they lined up for buses to Houston. But this time, the street is empty, and so is the convention center. The shelter of last resort was not needed this time. Instead of rescue boats racing down Carrollton, 16 years to the day, there are cars, some driving, others parked on the streetcar line, which is always high ground. New Orleans learned lessons after recovering from Katrina, and the government invested $15 billion in the levee system that passed this latest test. Parts of New Orleans flooded that had never flooded before. This neighborhood in Carrollton is dry today, although there are downed limbs. People here are counting their blessings. Top it all, we also had the flooding, which we didn't have this time. The winds were bad for this one, but not nearly like Katrina. Katrina will hopefully forever be the high water mark, a time when the waters rose up, but so did the people of New Orleans. For Eyewitness News, I'm Brendan Keefe.